good afternoon children welcome to our english class so in last class we have seen a basic introduction towards this voices today i am going to elaborate it so voices can be divided into active and passive so what the subject does is said to be active voice and what the focus is on the action it is said to be passive for example in active rama killed ravanan in passive ravanan was killed by ram if you analyze this uh, example you will understand it the thing ram killed ravanan so in this active sentence here the subject is given more important whereas in the passive sentence the action of the subject is given more importance so that's the difference between active voice and passive voice so let us see in detail please watch the video carefully and learn it okay children look at the examples so first we are going to see a simple present tense so this is the rules that how are we going to change it in simple present tense see the first example let's see the example children first we are going to see the changes in the simple present tense and the simple past tense okay so first see the first example i write a letter so please analyze this sentence i is a subject here write is a verb a letter is an object so in this sentence the verb plays a major role because it determines the tense okay write write is the v1 form that is the present verb so on seeing this you will understand it is uh, said to be in present tense so the answer also should be or the passive form also should be in present tense okay so as i told you already we should always use with the form in the passive tense so sentences for example so i as i told you already the object has became the subject a letter a letter object is become the subject of the sentence a letter A letter is a singular noun, so we should use is. A letter is, for example, if it is a plural noun like the, the letters S, yes, which means it is plural. So the letters are. Since they are used a letter, a letter is a singular. We should use singular present form B form of verbs S. A letter S. Yes. And what is the third form? B form of this verb write, wrote, written. So a letter is written by. I becomes me. I write a letter. A letter is written by me. Okay. So this is how we have to change. First, we have to see uh, what is the uh, subject. Uh, sorry, verb of the sentence. With that, we need to find that which verb it belongs to. Then we need to change according to it. Remember, children. Whenever you are changing a tense, you know, uh, you should remember always uh, this V three form will always carries uh, in all the sentences. Okay. The next one. She plays tennis. So in this sentence, she is a verb subject. Plays verb and tennis is an object. Look at the verb here. Plays. Plays. We have we have this here. So if we have verb plus s, it is said to be third person singular. The third person singular. S V O. So here the object is tennis. So object becomes subject. Tennis. I told you. This is a singular noun. Okay, so the, we should use singular uh, verb. Tennis is played by her. The basic form of play is play. That is the root for the root word is play. And the past verb, the basic form of verb is play. Play, play, play. If you have studied in your lower classes, it is very useful for you now. Tennis is played by. She becomes her. Okay, and. We prepare. We prepare the cake. So in this sentence, the uh, the doer of the action is we. And in this uh, passive voice, the action is given importance. The object is given importance. The cake. The object has become subject of the sentence. The cake is prepared by us. So prepare is the being or form of verb. So that is a passive verb. So we are using is prepared by us. For example. We can change like this. We prepare the cakes. If we change cakes, automatically this this is become R. The 
takes or prepared by us. It depends upon so the singular or plural. If you have a plural verb, you should use plural verb. If you have a singular object, you should use singular object. In this example, we prefer the cakes. So in this sentence, cakes is plural noun. So we should use plural form of verb are. Okay. The cakes are prepared by us. So here the given form is prepared. Okay. So in this sentence, tennis or a letter is singular, whereas the cakes are plural. So we should use plural form of verb are. And then coming to the simple past tense. I wrote a poem. So in this sentence, wrote is the past form. That is V2 form of a main verb. I wrote a poem. A poem was written by me. A poem is a singular and that is why we are using was. Okay. A poem was written by me. The third form of a right is written. This is the second form. The first form is write. Second form is wrote. And the third form is written. Always we should have, we should write the third form in passive sentences. I wrote a poem. A poem, the subject, the object has to be the subject of a sentence. A poem was written by me. I becomes me. And the second sentence. She played hockey. So in this sentence, play is a beautiful form of word. That is a passive word. So a hockey was played by her. So hockey and poem are singular nouns, singular objects. And that is why we are using singular Sorry, verbs. So, see the last example. They prepared the food items. So, in this sentence, the food items yeah, you know, are in plural form. Items, this is a plural form. The food items are in plural. The food items. So, the past form of a plural form was there. Where? The food items were prepared by them. Okay. So, in this sentence, this they is the subject. Prepared, that is the to form of verb. So we have to use the third form. What is the third form for form for prepare, prepare, prepare and prepare. Okay. The food items were prepared by men. The third one is present continuous tense. So what do you mean continuous tense? It is a progress. It is in progress. For example, writing, working. So ing is added to the main verb. Okay. So that is called this progressive progress. Okay. Satya is writing a poem. Writing, ing is added to the main verb, write. So that is what we are calling this continuous. Okay. So present continuous tense. Present continuous tense, what are the present verbs we have? Am, is, or, was, were. So these are the B form of present verbs. Satya is writing a poem. So first what we have to do, we need to find out what is subject, what is verb and what is object. So in this sentence, Satya is subject, is writing verb, a poem is object. And the next step is that, we need to find out the verb character. Is, first we have to see this one, writing, ing, continuous tense, is writing. So present continuous tense. So this is the true word for you. So the sentence is written in present continuous tense. So you have to write it like that. So here a poem is, the, is an object here. So object has become the subject. A poem is. Because see, here Satya is singular. So we are using third person singular. And here a poem is also a third person singular. So it refers to one. So it's a singular. A poem is. So this is the subject. So, a poem is being written by Satya. We need to add being in order to show that it is in continuous tense. And this is the one word which, the one word which shows that the sentences are written in present continuous because this shows the present verb. So, it is, it is in present continuous tense. Is being written by Satya. So we need to add by here. So in all continuous tense, whether it is 
present continuous or past continuous, we need to add being. Remember, children, there. they are buying a new house. So, in this sentence, they is the subject, are buying, which is verb, a new house, it's an object. Okay, so a new house, see, here it is a plural form, they is a plural form. So, they are using plural verb. So, plural verb for is this. Are they are buying a new house? So in this uh, answer, a new house. But here the subject is singular, a new house. So we need to put singular verb. Here a new house is being bought by them. So remember, children. So whenever we are writing, we are in passive form. Always we should follow the third form of the verb. So in this sentence, the third form is written. The first form is uh, write, second form, wrote, and the third form is written. So similarly, in this uh, sentence, the main verb is buying. So actually the root word is buy. So buy, bought, bought. So bought is the B3 form of the verb. So we are adding B3 form here. My house is, so is being. This is shows it is in present tense. And being shows that it is in present continuous tense. So in all other things, the same with the pattern will be following. Okay. So this particular word determines uh, whether the things are whether the sentences are present or past. A new house is being bought by them. When we are adding this here, because here the subject is singular, and that's why we are using present a singular verb. Next one. I revise the lessons. So in this sentence, I is a singular. So then we are using am a singular verb. I am revising the lessons. See the uh, in here lessons. It is in plural. So the lessons are being revised by me. I becomes me. In this sentence, yes, I is the subject. I am revising verb. The lessons are object. So the object has become the subject of this sentence. The lessons. So when you are writing the subject, please uh, check whether the subject is singular or plural. So in this, uh, this subject is when it is in plural. So we should use plural form of uh, the lessons are being revised by me. So we should add this being along with the three form of this word. So the V one form is revised, the V two is revised and revised with three form. The lessons are being revised by me. So if you are clear with this, so it will be easy for you to follow in past tense. So in past tense we have two words. The one is uh, was and the other one is where. So was is meant for singular and where is meant for plural. Very simple. See, past continuous tense. Nadia was telling the truth. So in this sentence, Nadia is the subject was telling uh, this verb the truth. It's an object. Okay. So here, yes, sorry, the truth. The object has become the subject of the sentence. The truth, the truth is the singular. So we should use the singular form of the verb. The truth was being. I told you children, we need to have being here. Being told by Nadia. Why we are adding told here? Because the V3 form of tell is told. Tell, told, told. This is the native form. Told by Nadia. It's very simple. As you just go through the sentence, identify what is the uh, what is that, uh, subject, verb, and object, and we need to change the tense, and then we need to change according to that. So when you are writing the subject, uh, object as the subject, always make sure whether the subject is whether the subject is in plural or singular. So here it is in singular, so we are using the singular form of verb. First, being. We should always add being with the continuous tense and be three form. Told by Nadia. Then, friends were playing football in the ground. So, children, remember, friends, the subject here, were playing verb, football object, in the ground. Where they are playing? In the ground. In the ground. So, it answers the question of where. So, it is subject. Okay. So, we should always uh, you know, look at the subject, verb, object alone. The rest of the things we can add later. Okay. 
So here the subject is football. See the children, see children. Here the friends they are given in plural form. So they are using the plural verb where. Okay. So here and again is a singular person. So they are using was. Friends is a plural and they are using where. So football. Football is actually singular here. So we are using singular verb. Football was being and the third form of football is played by friends in the ground. We can add the object at the end of the sentence. Then he was reading the advertisements. So here he is the subject was verb. Sorry, was reading verb. The advertisement is object. The advertisements were why because we are we are having plural subject. The advertisements is actually it's a, it is in plural form. The advertisements were being read by him. Were being read by him. So being we should have here another form of read read is read read read. The spelling remains the same, but the pronunciation is quite different. The advertisements were being read by him, the subject. Okay. 